everybody. Welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Had a actually it was a text, not a call today, but it's the one that we get a lot this time of year, and that is about hummingbirds that get stuck inside, in particular garages. A lot of people with their garage doors open, you know, this time of year, nice weather, and they're working outside, and they say, you know, they've got this hummingbird flying in the garage. Can happen inside your house too. It happened to me in college at the grocery store I was working at years ago, and you know, people are like, how do we get this the poor birds out of there? You know, they're fragile, and you don't want to you know, hit them with a net or anything like that, you know, they're crazy. So people call and they want advice on how to do this. And uh, what I always advise is, as best you can, make the garage as dark as possible. And that is, if you can cover windows, because their instinct is going to be to fly up and to fly toward light. So a lot of times we're going to, if you've got a window in your garage, they're going to keep going to that and you probably can't reach them. And even there's this huge garage door open uh, and they, they just won't fly out. It's just very, very frustrating. And the longer they're in there, the more tired they get. They start running out of energy. The heart rate is so high. Uh, the metabolism is so high that they're burning off uh, what energy they have. What, and so what I recommend doing is if you can make that garage as dark as possible, all except for one exit, um, if it's the big garage door, fine. If it's just a side door um, that you've got maybe going out in the yard, if that's the source of light, that may draw them there. And then the next thing that you can do is to hang a hummingbird feeder. If you've got your hummingbird feeder outside, bring it around and maybe hang it from your door frame in the middle of the door frame so that he sees it because he's going to be looking for something to eat because he's going to burn up his energy really fast. And so if you can get him to come over to that hummingbird feeder that's in the doorway or just outside your doorway, at top, if you've got some way to rig it up just temporarily to get him out there and usually he'll fly on and be fine. Now, if he doesn't do that, if you can't get him to come to the feeder or go out the door by himself, He's going to run out of energy. He's going to, he's going to give up uh, fairly quickly. And what we did, he was telling the story, the, the grocery store years ago, that that hummingbird, he was flying around, and he was going up finally to the pop bottles, the Coca-Cola, red labels, and he was trying to uh, you know, lick the red uh, flower that he was seeing. And finally, he just ran out of gas and just sat on the, the shelf beside, and I walked over and picked him up, and he took him outside. And we were selling plants because it was the spring, and I set him loose there and he was start immediately started feeding on the flowers that we had for sale outside. So um, uh, if you're not able to get him out on his own, you're watching him, he will eventually tire out and you can just gently pick him up. You don't, know, like I said, they're, they're very fragile, but you just cup them so that you can get him outside. And if you've got a hummingbird feeder, take him close to that. If you've got uh, flowering plants, uh, potted plants hanging that out there, get him over toward that so he'll immediately recognize that as a source of energy for him and to eat on that. So it happens this time of year. A lot of young hummingbirds out there right now. Uh, they don't know the ropes as well, and, and but adults can get stuck in the garages and, and in your, sometimes even in your houses as well. Um, but that's a lot of what's going on right now. So if that happens to you, try this method. See if you can't get him out there so he can uh, feed up and fatten up and get on his migration south because that's what they're doing right now this month. Thank you very much for tuning in. Give us a like. Give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Goodbye. Let's talk birds.